YouTube channel called Authentic Adventures. Um, I'm going to tell a story about a little adventure I had recently. <laughs> so I was on a walk and um, just, you know, walking down the neighborhood, Mason building here at the bottom. Maybe that's why I uh, decided to turn down this street because I saw a sign. Um, <clears throat> and so anyways, walking along, it was dark and I happened upon a fairy tale little cottage thingy and then I look closer and it had these books in it oh my god it is this it's called the little free library which I had no idea what that was so I googled it and apparently you can just like pay a couple hundred dollars actually there were some that were like five hundred dollars and you just build it and you have a little sign and the community just you know you bring a book drop it off and you take one and it's adorable um so and We'll show you in a second, like, there's little, like, it's covered. You can decorate your own. It's covered with little fairy tale stuff. Like, that's a Prince Charming from one of the Disney movies that I don't know. But there's Dumbo. And anyways, so, as a poet, I just about died <laughs> when I saw this. And I was like, I love the neighborhood I just moved to because it's authentic. We have authentic fairy tales and authentic books in this digital age and yes i'm being a hypocrite because i have a youtube channel but still in this digital age maybe i like to actually read a book not stare at a screen highlight write in it i like bookmarks if we like continue on the age that we're on this digital age there's a black hat on the street so good thing i'm not superstitious uh, my, my witchy self i like that um <laughs> Oh, the digital age, bookmarks might go to, like, just, they may no longer exist. I remember in school going to the book fair when I was little, and they would sell all these really cool bookmarks. I had a whole collection. It was adorable. So, um, anyways, uh, I'm not advertising for the little free library by any means. It's just a cute, authentic little discovery I made. Um, but on the website, you can type in your, I think it's, zip code and see if there's other ones located so i guess if you build one you have to put it on the map or something but this is in front of somebody's house which i don't really uh know who it is but <laughs> hope they don't mind us we won't get their house private. number in it yeah say what we won't get their house number in it yeah exactly they'll Maybe remain they anonymous i hope um so anyways that's all for today i just wanted to share this little tidbit of adventure i was not feeling well but my friend wanted to go on a walk with me so we went on a walk it was like after dark and you with me it's always an adventure you stumble upon the coolest things you've never seen before i'm how old and i've never seen this before so um if you are bored one sunday afternoon or something you know go on the internet find yourself a little library and go read a book y'all all right until next time see ya, see ya.